our hostel coffee. We're on the road to drop off the container. Yeah, it's a super exciting day. This is really insane day. We've been doing step after step to get farther along this process and now we're so far along it feels like it's pushing us through at this point. We just gotta head over here and drop off the van. So we're super stoked to drop off the van and at the same time our friends Snow and Kurt are dropped are getting dropped off at the airport to fly to Colombia. Big day for both of us, it's so cool. And we're so glad that they're going first because they can tell us if we have all of the right paperwork since we went to the same bed and you know, we kind of chatted about what we needed to do and stuff like that. So yeah, we're, we're glad that they went first this time. <laughs> yeah, it's super exciting that we're both doing this at the same time. We thought back in, I think, Guatemala to try to ship around the same time as them and then somehow they got ahead of us on the schedule but they had a delay so our boats are ending up arriving the same day with our vans in Cartagena they're getting there a day earlier but uh, you know we haven't seen them since the north of Panama and I'm guessing we'll probably meet up soon in Cartagena Colombia Vanless. We're gonna meet up with a vanless. Oh. How weird. So nervous. We're dropping off the van today. Oh my gosh. There's our buddy Julian. So that's Julian's. Yeah. Yeah, so he said we just park here and go on foot across the street. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they gotta stamp me out of the country for when we leave in the airport. They'll be checking that. Yes. And yeah, probably some other random paperwork for the car to leave the country. Well, I'm stuck to see Julian again. Yeah, let's get to it, eh? Okay. All right, getting Denny's passport stamp canceled for the TIP. Getting our TIP canceled and showing up with the bill of late in here. So some things that we had to do to the van specifically to get to this point was uh, empty the propane tank. So the propane is empty. I mean, it's only a gallon. You've got seen us bake so many things for the past couple of weeks, so we did empty it, thank goodness. We also had to come up with only a quarter tank of gas, and our agent said like so many times, make sure it's only a quarter tank of gas. So yeah. We all right, we got all the papers. Where are we going now, Danny? So we're off to put the van into a container. Ah! At the shipping liner's place. We're going with Neptune, I guess, or that's where we're loading it at the warehouse. And they'll seal it up and everything. Well, we're supposed to leave it with less than a quarter tank. Oh my God. And we are leaving it very empty. So we've made it into the shipping company's area here. They have some really big machines for loading containers here. This one looks like it lifts up a container to put it on the top of a truck, huh? Cool. So he said park over here. Ready? Yeah. Oh boy. I think that this is our container. Whoa. It looks like it's on the ground. That would be so great. We saw so many other videos where they had to lift the van up onto a truck and yeah. All right, so Danny's closing up the fan. We're gonna try and get the van into the container. And it's the container we thought, so. It's on the ground. We're super stoked. Here comes Danny. Let's go check out the container. All right, all right, all right. Pushing. Oh. Oh, see. Okay. Wow, we're already <laughs> just trying to put it in there. That was fast. Yeah, so we didn't even need to take off the mirrors. I guess we're gonna see. The antenna is definitely just hit the top. Oh my gosh, it looks like the, it looks like the fan might fit. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, wow, if the fin fits, it's by like a millimeter. I don't think it's gonna fit. No, I think we gotta take the fan off. Yep, I think we gotta take off the fin. I think we gotta take it off. Adelante. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna make it. The guy said to go. Holy mo oh my god! See, see, you already made it past with the fan. See, Bessa. Wow, we didn't. Oh my gosh, we didn't have to let down the tires. Oh, okay, so he was just seeing if it works. We didn't have to let down the tires. We didn't have to take off the the mirrors. We didn't even have to remove the fan. We took off the solar panels, but like we knew we were gonna have to do that, and we kind of designed them so that we could do that. So it's no big deal. Whoa, so do you think we even had to take off the solar panels? It yeah. It's a little higher, right? Yeah, the solar panels are. Was it? How close was it? Oh my gosh, it, I thought you weren't gonna make it. It was like a piece of paper. Really? A piece of paper. <laughs> Good to oh the my of god. It. It's it was so close. That, it must that's be out really of great. Yeah. That means uh, <laughs> it's gonna be way easier. <laughs> Dang, so this is the container. That's our container. Oh my god. What a day. Yeah, we're fitting this monster into a container to Colombia. Hey, for all the people that don't know if they can take their ProMaster to Colombia, ours is the 159 wheelbase high roof van and we didn't even have to take off our Max Air fan. We just had to lower it. We didn't have to take off our mirrors. We didn't have to empty the tires at all. We don't have stock suspension, but we don't have it lifted or anything. Anyone can do this for sure. Oh, he's just taking pictures of the whole van. Well, I guess now they're gonna check Julian's car, Julian. Julian. And so I will disconnect the electrical For the van. our house batteries? Yeah, just gotta disconnect the breaker that connects the electrical control center to the batteries, disconnect the one that connects the alternator to the batteries. We already got the solar off. So we got the solar panels up here with a bunch of pillows. And now I'm gonna go in here and just disconnect the electrical. It's just these two breakers here. Click, click, <laughs> the light shut off. Yeah, nothing is connected to the batteries. Solar shut off. And this is the first time the solar charge controller has been shut off. I wonder if the statistics will, will start anew, but it's been going like three, like four years almost. This thing is great. Let's get this thing in a container. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy compared to Trenton Alley's because they have the 3500, we have the 2500, and theirs is also extended. Theirs is lifted too. Oh, and it was lifted, theirs so that's lifted. why they had such a hard time. Yeah. We didn't have to remove our side mirrors like they had to. The 3500 has these huge side mirrors. Because theirs is much longer. And besides that, we didn't have to remove the roof vent fan, which uh, is really nice because that thing, the front one is designed well. You'd only have to take out four screws, lift it out, but you just connect the electrical would be yeah. a slight quirk. But the back one is like completely attached to the yeah. van. It's shorter, so we were really hoping not to have to take off that one. But to not have to take off either is amazing. I know. And we were we probably could have left just the rack up there too, but. I think that the rack, like at least the vent, the fan is plastic and the rack is kind of more solid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this has some flex. The yeah. rack is more like a solid thing. I wonder how much forces it'll be subjected to inside the container, because on the ocean, I'm sure it'll be moving a bit, but these are big boats. Yeah. So I don't know. That thing being in the center, if it tilts a bit, it would matter less than, yeah, the solar panels so. might, might have hit. If yeah. there was some sort of that motion, who knows? Yeah. I wanna ask the guy. Oh, here comes Julian. Yeah, we really thought this was gonna be harder than uh, it looked and it's turning out to be easier than it looked. Yeah. Wow, no problem. No problem. Wow, it is hot in this container. <laughs> Holy moly. 
I can't believe how hot it is in here. So that's great. So now they're gonna strap down Julian's car. So after the van goes in here, then it goes on to this truck and the truck takes it over to the barge. And the barge takes it to Cartagena. Okay, so they did ask us to take out some air just so that the van is a little bit lower. Oh, well, Jesse thought maybe when we reversed out that the angle would make it hit. Here we go, here we go. The van is going in the container. They're talking about how they're gonna be able to leave because the van is kind of tight. So they're not sure how they're gonna get out. Oh, I think they're leaving underneath. He's gonna come out underneath. That is insane. He's going under. He's gonna go. He said he's gonna go underneath after he dies down the van. I mean, at least the van will be safe. But like, geez. Woo! Vamos! Now that I know that the van fits in there. I'm like not that worried. <laughs> Especially because they aired out the tires a little bit. It's no big deal. Woo. There goes the van. Into the container. What a beaut. Oh my gosh, you can't even see the container by this angle. <laughs> that is so funny. I hear him say go. Then he's got like a foot more. Go in. And then he's, wow. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, looks like the van fits for sure. I cannot believe the guy is gonna come out underneath of the van. It's gonna be hot. Because there's no way you can go on the side. Well, maybe he can fit on the side if he didn't have breakfast. They're asking him to pull the e-brake. But our e-brake is actually broken. <laughs> so we can't really do that. But So the next thing is they're going to tie the van down. Danny's going to disconnect the car battery now. So it'll be safer in there. He, Danny's actually going to jump out the back of the van. Uh, so he's tying it down. And in the back... That's outside, so I'm gonna climb through the van to get out of here. And we're not really sure how that guy's gonna get out of here. Wow, so this will be my last time in the van for quite a while, and I gotta climb out of here. So hopefully Emily will open the back door. Time to climb out. Gracias. Here comes Danny. Oh, yo puedo. Emily, I'm in here like in a casket. You gotta get me out. I know, I knew you would be a little bit, uh, a little bit scared in there. <laughs> Good job. Ooh, well, we'll see how the homie can get out of there. I know, I cannot believe he, he said abajo and I was like, no way. So sweaty. I know, it's really hot. <laughs> Especially in that container, it's super hot. Can't believe this. I can't believe we fit so well. We got the van in the container. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Dodge Ram Pro Master 159 inch wheelbase got it in the container. Hey, well, this is our container buddy, Julian. Hey, thank you very much for sharing this container. Muchas gracias. So, we'll be seeing you in Cartagena. Yeah. <laughs> and you're giving us a ride. We really appreciate that too, man. Yeah. So, now we're all loaded up. Wow. Oh, the truck is going on too. You know which truck already? It's right here. Wow, Emily just told me how this is our truck and I am beyond excited. Look at this thing. Look at that on there. Oh man! Wow, so he's trying to get out from there. That's tricky. That would be claustrophobic for me. I'm always scared the car's gonna fall on me too, honestly. 
Wow, he's gonna find a way. It's gonna be crazy though. We're taking this guy to Cartagena. <laughs> I hope he gets paid extra for crawling underneath the van, jeez. I think he's trying to get in through the window. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Get us some cafe! <laughs> wow, muchas gracias. Sin zapatos. <laughs> wow, good job. <laughs> this guy has made your spirit doing that for us. <laughs> he climbed in through the window on the passenger side. Starts raining. <laughs> so this is the official seal that cannot be removed until somebody cuts it like that. Oh, I'm yeah. stuck. <laughs> Let's go finish up paperwork. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we didn't need to wait in the rain. It just started. So that's pretty sick. Our container buddy Julian let us hitch a ride with him and his friends back to Panama City. Wow, so here we are back at the hostel. The van was here when we were working on it. No more van! <laughs> van is gone. But this dog was good. Sombrita ate all of her bone that we gave to her this morning. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like she was too pent up. This is our home for another day and then we'll have a, another Airbnb in Cartagena and we will be without the van for a week. So this is pretty crazy. This is the first time this has happened in three years. Back in the hostel. Do you think they're ready to fly tomorrow? I hope so, because that's what we're doing. So since we're gonna fly tomorrow, we're gonna take some Brita on a long walk around the Ancon Hill where we're staying right now. Do these things have different names in every country we go to? Honduras, I think they were called Aguti. Here they're called Nyekis. Costa Rica, maybe they're called a Watusa, Watusa. You got her, Emily? Yes, yep. That dog, that dog is trained to fly, you see? <laughs> Oh, huge traffic jam over there. We're walking. We're walking here. We don't have a car. <laughs> Columbia. Wow, so we're all checked in. So I feel like there's pretty much zero stress left because they've already checked all the paperwork and allowed us to fly with a dog and a cat, which we were a little worried, but we're checked in. Just gonna take Sombrita for a quick little walk outside here. And Graham, he's, uh, Graham's meowing a lot. He's not stoked. And he's flown before, so we're not too worried about him. Sombrita, she's in public like a lot and she's acting like a normal, happy, good girl, but it's gonna be a big day. I mean, hopefully we'll be in our new place in Cartagena by 10 a.m. And that would be nice. Made it through security. Wow, <laughs> security. That was probably the most exciting part. <laughs> well, I took Graham out of his little carrier and I carried him across. Graham was like the best. Really? Yeah, I felt just... like he struggled just a little bit. Well, that was like after a minute of waiting for his little thing to come through. Then he started trying to move a bit and I had to grab him a little tighter. Yeah. But... Yeah. Well, they made me take off some beat this leash. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> there's a little bit of metal on it, I guess. Well, her harness also has metal on it, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the metal detector didn't 
Do anything about that also. Wow, she's being so great. So now we just gotta Wait. get on a metal tube and fly through the sky. <laughs> Sun's rising. So this is Graham's carrier here. He can see out all the sides. Graham, me. Hopefully, we don't have to do this. Again. <laughs> For like years. <laughs> yeah. In Aspen, Colorado, we were skiing and the van got some mess up. So to fix the van, we took Graham and this carrier to the airport. <laughs> because it was close to the mechanic. And it was like it was like four degrees outside. Yeah, it was like crazy cold. So, so we, we the mechanic said we couldn't stay there. So we just thought, hey. We'll just pretend we're taking a flight. <laughs> so we took <laughs> Graham and this thing to the airport. <laughs> we were walking by like, do you fly with him all the time? And we were like, yeah, he's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is some Rita's first time in an airport. Buena chica. There's some buena chica. Pretty sure we're gonna make it to Colombia now. Are you with it? Finally got this dog a bathroom break. So now we're going in here to do all the paperwork for the animals. You doing okay, Grammy? Mm -hmm. I see my little boy. He's okay in there, where is he? Sombrita's definitely okay. Wow, so we made it to Cartagena. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't believe we're here. We left the airport to get a little bit cheaper taxi ride. It's a full boat. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny because they had met Snow and Kurt the day before. And he said, hey, why don't you bring up your YouTube? And so we put it on the, on the computer over there watching it with us. <laughs> so first impressions of Cartagena. A lot of people hanging out here at the coast. Reminds me of Cuba a little bit. Everybody at the beach. Yeah. Wow, we made it here to the building. Let's get checked in. Whoa, welcome to the Airbnb. I'm excited to be not in the car. This guy will be excited to be not in this. 
All right, you ready, buddy? The time is now, Yay. my boy. Run, 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 yeah. run. Yeah. Come on now. Run, Good boy. Run. Come here, Grammy. Come look at the view. Oh, that AC is starting to kick, too. I bet he'll like some now. Yeah. So you just open this. Ooh, this is chill. This is called Laguito here. And there's a pool down there we can use. Not bad. What do you think, baby? Relax. Oh get some my gosh. Yeah, let's get some food and some kitty litter, huh? <laughs> We're gonna go find some litter for Graham and some other stuff for the apartment. Sombrita's first Colombian dog friend. Wow, we did our first little trip out the door. We got Emily's cell coverage. Cat stuff, water, beers, lighter, and the craziest size bone for the dog. Super busy. Thanks so much for watching. We're gonna go sleep forever, but we'll see you guys next time for our first look at Colombia.